So one of the most important things to check before you go out to go dig your own shellfish is to take a look at the Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management to take a look at their website. They're really good about updating it every day and it'll give you an idea of where um, waters are closed to shellfish uh, harvesting and where waters are open to shellfish harvesting. Make sure that you um, uh, bring your cooler with gel packs and these kinds of things to keep everything cool. Um, cooling shellfish and then storing them cold is very, very important. It prevents the uh, growth of bacteria that can make you sick. Um, once you're harvesting them and you've got them in your cooler and now you've got gel packs and you're, they're nice and cold, take a look at them. Make sure that you have shellfish that are not all broken up, um, shellfish that aren't just laying there open. If you see a, a shellfish that's a little bit open and you tap it, um, it should close. When I have cooked um, quahogs on the grill, I kind of wait till they open up and take a look at them and you know kind of eyeball it uh, but if you really want to be careful the truth is uh, a handheld thermometer stuck in the meat the register is 145 degrees or hotter you're all set but a lot of people don't want to have their Rhode Island shellfish cooked especially our oysters since they're the best in New England we want to make sure and uh, get every bit of that flavor so the thing to do when it comes to um, raw shellfish, again, same old thing, you want to make sure and harvest from the right places, you want to cool it down quickly, you want to store it uh, in cold areas. Also, when you bring it home and you put it in your refrigerator, make sure that you're not storing it over open food. If you say you have just put together a big fruit salad in an open bowl and it's in your refrigerator, you don't want to put your you know, pan of shellfish on top of that and then have that juice drip into your fruit salad. That's never, that's never a good idea. That's cross-contamination that can make someone sick. So um, there are a few groups of people who shouldn't be eating raw shellfish. And those groups mainly are the very, very young, the elderly, or people who are immunocompromised. And by that, I mean people who have some sort of uh, underlying condition like diabetes or whatever. If they're, um, if they're in that situation, it's just not a safe thing to do because uh, they're more susceptible to that, uh, to that type of infection that you can get from uh, shellfish. So uh, that's just a word to the wise. Please avoid raw shellfish if you're in one of those groups.